Where should we start the show tonight? Uh, human sacrifice. <laughs> That's a good place. Always gets a bit of a cheer. Yay, human sacrifice. Because uh, we used to do it, didn't we? We know we used to do it. It's dropped off a lot since the 50s. But we used to do it. We used to sacrifice men and women for gods. That's what we did. At least we didn't sacrifice men and women for other men and women. We weren't that bad. We just killed each other. That's a different thing, isn't it? That's just pure bloody murder. But we weren't as bad as people going, ooh, I like spoons. I'd like to get more spoons. Maybe if I kill Steve, I'll get more spoons. I wish I did logic at school. Steve, are you busy? Uh, just going down the fun fair to stick my head in the candy floss machine and get a big pink afro. It's a very weird joke. Well, I've changed it every night up to here, and I've never got a laugh. <laughs> that one's a keeper, Steve. <laughs> Come back in. Come back in and let me know you're better, young man. Oh, Dickens. Now, <laughs> so we forgot that. Um, stick your head on that tree stump, will you? Uh, for why? Well, you know, you know how we measure horses by hands, and they are 17 hands high? We measure trees in head heights, being 53. <laughs> Head. It's a new eye. It's metric, we're calling it. Um, just stick your head right next to the tree stump, and then on the tree stump. <laughs> Charles the First. <laughs> Charles the First was a king of England. He was what we call a dickhead king. 1649, that punchline comes from. Very rarely used in stand-up comedy today. <laughs> Charles the First claimed the kingships of England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. He said he was appointed by God. We cut his head off, nothing happened, so apparently not. <laughs> if he had been appointed by God, his execution would have sounded like this. For boing, for boing, for boing, for boing, for boing, for bing, for bing, for boing, for boing. Hang on. <laughs> for boing, for boing, for boing. Think he's appointed by God, lads. <laughs> It was a time when people had all that long hair. He started that. He put a King Charles Spaniel on his head. <laughs> Look, and you can see all the courtiers. Oh, what a wonderful idea, my king. Your hair can hear. Yes, it has long, flappy ear hair things. <laughs> Shall I throw it a cough drop? There we go. <laughs> oh, quick, get a poodle, get a poodle. I have a poodle on my head. See, I have a poodle. Damn, he has better hair than me. <laughs> I have a Pekingese, sir. I have a Dachshund, it's a bit of a throw. <laughs> I've got a St. Bernard on my head, it's not really worked out. <laughs> he caused, I'm making light of, of, of King Charles I and his execution, but he did call up to 200,000 people to die in the bloodiest wars that we'd ever had. There was not one English civil war, there were two English civil wars. It was him and Cromwell that time, and Cromwell's coming in. Cromwell was saying, one person, one vote. Well, OK, one man, one vote. We'll give him one man with cash, one vote. <laughs> he was solid with his ideas. So Charlie One was not appointed by God. I think we could say, there's an outside chance that he was appointed by God, but if, and only if, on the day of his execution and his demise, God was up in heaven going, delete, 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 delete. <laughs> Love, Charlie One, XO, 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 send. Oh shit, what's the password? Jesus, what's the password? <laughs> I can't remember that. I can't, I don't know. You're the one that knows all this technical stuff. <laughs> That's why I keep you around. I don't, I can't remember that. I had such a blinding night last night. I can't remember. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's where it started. It must have started there, yeah? The first father to say Jesus Christ to clench teeth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, what's, what's the time? time? What's the time? It's Charlie One. He's getting. Don't kill Charlie. Oh, God, the globe's in the wrong place. Hang on. Is it Ethiopia? Where are we? Belize? Hang on. Uh, England. Don't kill Charlie One. This is. Don't kill Charlie One. This is God. Don't. This is the Mr. Ons. Don't kill. Dude. Charlie. You 
bastard. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Charlie. Got these new iPads. They're really good. Couldn't get them. Jesus. You look great. <laughs> you look like an astronaut. <laughs> Do you want an iPad? It's really good. You can use them on the toilet. They're great. But this was 1649, right? And this is 450 years after the Magna Carta, the signing of the Magna Carta, 1215, just before lunchtime, <laughs> which was when the beginnings of democracy coming back to Europe after the Greeks and the Romans had had a go. <laughs> Bad King John was forced by the barons of England to sign the Magna Carta, which is Latin for big card, if you hadn't thought about it. <laughs> sign the big card. We can't call it a big card. Magna Carta, much better. <laughs> Dear barons of England, if you don't know, bad King John was bad because he was, he was a crap king as well, but he just smelt of sandwiches and was poo <laughs> at kicking the ball into the goal. He'd get up to the goal and go, and it'd go that way, which is probably most of us. Just me then, okay. <laughs> I had this problem. I'd get up to. I was good. I was good at the, in the middle. You know what's it called? Uh, midfield. And uh, <laughs> no, it's years. Thirteen. I was thirteen when I last played a big game of football. Anyway, so I was good. And I'd get up, get the ball, and the ball. I'd be so keen in front of the. Get it in the back. Kick it. Just. Kick. Did anyone else have this one? Just kick it. Pang. <laughs> you fucking idiot, is uh... on. <laughs> so I didn't. I would just. I'd just assist. You do it, you nut it in. Anyway. <laughs> King John going, have you finished? I was doing the Magna Carta. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just reminiscing. Yeah, well, that, I'm signing the bloody thing here. Explain about me. Yes, I was, yes. So this is bad King John, Barons of England. Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, the referee? <laughs> and play ball. <laughs> Dear Barons of England, I'm terribly sorry I missed all your birthdays. And you promised to hand over some of your power in the beginnings of democracy. And I promised to hand over some of my power in the beginnings of democracy. And you'll always play the bad guy in the Robin Hood movies. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Who's going to play good guy? Sean Connery play good guy. <laughs> yes. As you can hear, he's in tonight. Uh, Sean Connery played in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Richard the Lionheart. My God. We had a king called Richard the Lionheart, the greatest, I think, one of the greatest English kings that's ever been going. Great in battle, there's a statue of him outside the Houses of Parliament, born in Oxford, fought all the fights, fought against Salah Hadin in the Third Crusades. Ah, good looking, played the banjo, good at football. <laughs> the David Beckham of kings, right? <laughs> Revered by the English as English is English pie, and he spoke French. <laughs> In interviews, you're King Richard the Lionheart. Uh, we, I'll, uh, hello, I'm very much excitement. I'm very pleased. <laughs> Good morning. Are you King of England? Uh, oh yes, uh, we. I am. Hello. Good morning. Bonjour. I'm England. I like it very much. I like you people. You're crazy. <laughs> and you live there? No, I live in France. <laughs> Why do you live in France? Oh, lovely weather and. The wine, you know. <laughs> but you're good at fighting. I am a very good fighter. I could kill you, I could kill that guy, I could kill that rat, you know. I just killed them very quickly. Did you like the battle today? Very good battle, I thought. I thought we were good in the second half, I felt. You came in. <laughs> Salah Hadin, very good manager of his team. They're Muslims. They fought very well, you know. I have a lot of respect for him. We shook hands at the end of the game and... Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should make peace, you know, because we're both Abrahamic faiths. It's a bit insane to murder each other. But hopefully these wars will sort of tail off within about two or three years. <laughs> or if not, a thousand years. <laughs> or if not, they just keep going and then we'll blow up. <laughs> and do you know some English songs? Oh, sure. Sur le pont d'Avignon, on y va. Here's one. Maybe it's because I'm an Oxfider. <laughs> That's true, that is. He spoke hardly any English. And 300 years we had those kings. But this is Richard the Lionheart. What a name to get, because we had kings like Edward the Confessor. I think that was me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ethelred the Unready. What now? <laughs> Steve the Stupid. I don't know. <laughs> Kenny the Collapsible. I can fit in a bag. 
and Roger the Rotund have eaten a pig. <laughs> there are lions not even called Lionheart. There are lions called, I'm just called Lenny. <laughs> Lenin, like, like the Russian guy. No, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny the lion. Oh, I thought Lenin the lion, that'd be quite fun. What's your name? I'm Steve. Quite a lot of Steves in this show. Yes, yes. <laughs> he doesn't like thinking up new names. <laughs> Lenny is quite unusual. <laughs> it's actually Lenin. I've just changed it to Lenin, actually. Oh, it's quite a mobile show. Yes, yes. I'm... <laughs> I've got a lion's heart. I've got a duck's heart. Oh. And for why? I swapped it with a duck in a poker game. <laughs> Any disadvantages? Many. But I'm good at bobbing for apples. <laughs> you didn't even know you were going to say that, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to say something else, and it did tumble from my mouth. You realize we both have the same accent. Oh, yes, that's not good. That's not good at all. No, it isn't.